What's up everybody, Jason Page here. Welcome back to another light painting vlog. I'm doing another vlog series. I'm currently on my 2022 road trip. I'm headed out west. I've actually been headed out west for a few days now and currently I am in Blue Water State Park in New Mexico. I just randomly found this place today on my way out and it looks like a great place to shoot. I've been on the road for a few days now, just kind of trying to get out west. You may be able to hear it in my voice, I don't know, but uh, unfortunately I've been battling COVID for about two weeks now, um, and I just uh, I postponed the trip for a few days, but just finally decided to get in the car and just start driving, and uh, just been camping. I shot one day, I'll show you a couple of those shots, but um, literally just right behind my camp, and uh, I didn't really get anything great, but whatever, I did shoot one day. But hopefully uh, we'll get some cool stuff today and I can show you how I'm creating it. This place is amazing. It's got crazy views I'm about to show you. The reason I'm kind of down here is because it's very windy. Um, earlier today I was kind of hiking along the trail and it's, it's a pretty vertical trail, um, some steep drop offs and stuff. And I saw this like dust devil thing spinning across the lake and I swear I thought it was coming right at me. Um, I'll show you guys a video of that because it was kind of a funny situation, but at the same time, I was a little bit nervous. I'm going to walk up here and show you the first shot. I'll go ahead and apologize now if there's a bunch of wind noise, but um, show you what I'm going to try to do. I'm taking a page out of the book of Dennis Smith and all your lunatic on the edge orbs. Here's my camera setup. I'm going to go stand right there on the edge of that giant cliff and create an orb. There's an old dam down here. Uh, as you can see, that's the old dam right there. You have the whole giant lake. It's just beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful sunset. And there's a bunch of places that you could most likely die, like down there. So, uh, got to be kind of careful not to fall off the cliff. <laughs> That's going to be my main priority. But uh, first shot, again, going to be standing out there right on that edge. I'm going to shoot a couple other things after that. I'm going to do some light writing. I want to try to make like a tree out of light. I have the leaf plexi with me. So I'm going to try to make a tree out of uh, the light painting brushes tools and uh, see how that comes out. There's just some really cool spots up here to do it. So I think uh, it's something I want to add in to my, I do all those flowers. I want to add in some more organic shapes and do some trees and things like that. So that's something I'm trying on this trip uh, as long as I'm staying healthy and feeling good. But uh, so we'll see what we get, but welcome to the first vlog of my 2022 road trip. I have a couple different shots kind of planned and picked out. For instance, right here is where I'm going to be trying to create that tree. Um, right here in this little area uh, is going to be one of the shots that I want to shoot. Um, the reason, though, that I'm not going to do that one first is because the sun is obviously setting over here, right? And if I'm shooting that way, there's going to be so much light in the sky that way so i would have to wait a lot longer to be able to start shooting if i'm to shoot into the sun whereas if i'm shooting this way as you can see here i'll be able to start shooting a lot sooner because i'm gonna have that dark background so i should be able to see the light painting that i'm gonna do right there on the edge of the cliff with that dark background it'll show up a lot sooner than if I was shooting that way into the sun, the light painting that I'm doing for that tree that I want to create or the light writing that I'm going to create, I would have to wait so much longer because the sky is going to be so blown out. One other idea that I have down here is this tree right here. It's kind of dead looking tree. I think this would be a really cool tree to backlight and it'd be really easy to do so i'll probably shoot this on my way out um just it's a pretty cool looking tree and then super easy to set up tripod and a real easy just walk around behind it backlight it 
and uh, I think it'll look really cool. So that is like plan D. And then again, this tree right here I really like, and just this whole little kind of framed up thing here. I think that would look really cool. I think I'm gonna do light writing in here. So we've got plan D. Sorry about that, I'm learning how to vlog. <coughs> COVID. Sorry about that, I'm learning how to vlog again. Battery died, but I'm gonna figure this out again, I promise. Uh, anyway, so we have plan D, that old tree, backlight. Plan C, light writing in between that kind of crooked tree, that little framed up one. Uh, plan B is the tree of light over there on the edge. And then plan A is the orb, Dennis Smith style, uh, as in Dennis Smith style on the edge of a cliff, but I'm gonna be using the glitter sticks in a different form of orb, but still on the edge, uh, inspired by Dennis Smith. So anyway, now all we gotta do is wait for it to get dark and also not step on any of these freaking cactuses. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they are freaking everywhere and there's huge spikes on them. Look at those things. Look at that guy. Look at them. They're everywhere. So, trying to avoid the cacti, trying to avoid falling off the cliff to my early demise, and that's it. If I accomplish any of these goals tonight, I'm going to feel very good about it. Because again, first time I'm feeling like even getting out here and doing this, so... We shall see what we get when the sun goes down, but for now I'm gonna relax and enjoy the beautiful sunset. The tools that I'm using for this first part are the Soonfire DS30 flashlight, the universal connector, and the glitter sticks. This is what I'm gonna be using to create the orb out there on the rock. Um, I have a full tutorial for this type of orb. I will link it above and down in the description below. I don't know if you guys can see all the bugs around me. I'm so happy these are not mosquitoes. They would be miserable. I don't know what kind of bugs they are, but thankfully they are not biting. The other thing that I'll be using is, ooh, almost went off the cliff, is the uh, color hood. Uh, again, universal connector, and this is with the Coast G26 flashlight. I'll be using this to illuminate the ground, which does two things. It makes it look as though the orb is actually there by emitting light. And then also it will erase my feet from the image because again, light erases dark in light and in life. I'm gonna create a couple of those once it gets dark enough. Then I might add in a couple little extra things like the diamond plexiglass and just see kind of the different textures and how they go together. Uh, but that's the plan. There's one other thing that I'm going to be using tonight. I'm going to try this out with the orb. I really don't haven't made orbs with it yet, but um, it is a new tool that we're going to be releasing very, very soon. And it is the holographic sword. Um, same exact size as the glitter stick. However, it is holographic and it creates a really cool effect. So I'll show you what we get with this as well. But uh, those are the tools that I'll be using. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> those are the tools that I'll be using for this first part. There is a little ledge here on the other side, so maybe it would have got caught, but if it goes a tumbling, it would have been gone. So then we wouldn't have been using the holographic on this whole trip, because I only brought one. Um, sun setting, beautiful, beautiful night. Bugs are not biting, it's great. I'm going to create a couple orbs over there as soon as it gets dark enough and I'll show you what we get.
I changed the angle, so now I'm shooting over to the water. Uh, I like this angle a lot better, but I had to wait for the sun to go down, and now I've got the moon and the reflection, and it looks great. I did one of the illuminated beings at this angle, and now I'm gonna do some light writing. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a couple of tricks and tips out of it. Let's see, I used the glitter sticks with the color hood for the orb, used the opaque light writer and color hoods for the illuminated being. And then on the tree, I used the leaf plexiglass, the uh, opaque light writer, one of the light pens, color hood, and... Uh, that's about it. If you like the video, guys, please do give me the thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the little bell notification. Um, I do want to shoot some more stuff, but I am very tired. Uh, so um, this is going to be the end of this one. So uh, hopefully next time I'll be in a new cool location. Hoping to head to the Grand Canyon tomorrow. So if I can find a camping spot there. That is where I will be, and hopefully I'll be shooting. So until the next one, get out there and get creative.